six, or maybe seven, I absolutely loved Christmas. Quite frankly, I was never encouraged to believe in Santa Claus. Once I was old enough to understand, my father disabused me of the notion. He explained to me and my elder brother that he was the one who bought and brought all of our gifts. So whether we were naughty or nice, we could only receive what he could afford. <laughs> I too dislike the idea of a rotund, bearded stranger sneaking into our house in the still of the night and tampering with our Christmas tree. But Santa Claus or not, I still loved Christmas with all my heart. Today I must confess that Christmas has lost its feeling. In the relatively short time that I've been on this planet, I must confess that the Christmas spirit has disappeared. Good afternoon, Mr. Toastmaster, members of the executive, fellow Toastmasters, and specially invited guests. I was born into a computer world, kicking and screaming at the exact moment Google emerged, then Facebook, YouTube, and Snapchat, and the rest. From what I read and heard, I get the feeling that Christmas was a lot more exciting when we didn't have everything we needed right at our fingertips. I too felt that warm glow and excitement flowing through my body from the start of December. But that excitement and that glow is almost completely gone. What do I blame? It might surprise you when I say technology and the drive for money. Let's examine it closely. I suggest that pre-Christmas planning and preparation in which we all participated is what made Christmas so exciting, especially for the children. The painting, the cleaning, and the polishing and dusting is what added to that build-up and anticipation of Christmas. Today's children aren't very much involved in such activities. Given time constraints, it might be easier to simply hire a CPEP whacker man to cut the grass or to employ specialist companies to paint and clean. Or better yet, simply throw out all of the old furniture and take new stuff on higher purchase. Who in 2019 is brave enough to try boiling ham in a pitch oil tin in the backyard? What even is a pitch oil tin? <laughs> For that matter, what is pitch oil? <laughs> and which backyard? Better to get the ham almost ready to eat and save all the bother. What about the excitement of Christmas shopping for groceries, toys, and other Christmas goodies? For me and other members of my generation, it's difficult to imagine trudging home all expectant and wide-eyed with bags filled with mysterious Christmas goodies. Today, there is online shopping. You can order, pay for, and accept delivery all from your bedroom. The traditional black cake, the wine, the ginger beer, the sorrel, and if need be, even the Christmas lunch. <laughs> the whole family can travel to KFC and take advantage of the special offers they have on buckets of original and spicy with appropriate side orders. So there's no longer a need for elaborate planning of Christmas eats and drinks. And with it goes even more of the excitement of Christmas. Of course, there's still the joy of hearing seasonal Christmas music and joining in excitedly to play with friends on Christmas. Surely that adds to the Christmas spirit. Or does it? Christmas music on the radio begins as early as September. And by November, it is fighting against the sounds of carnival. But who in my generation listens to the radio anyway when there are apps like YouTube where you can create your own playlist? As for playing with friends on Christmas, what is that? 
most of the gifts now are technical, personal items, smartphones, laptops, and the like. Going outside to play simply means children sitting in the driveway, each absorbed in his or her technological gadget, practically in their own virtual world. After a few minutes, they all end up bored anyway. One fact remains. Technology isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So the challenge is to use technology in a manner that fosters the Christmas spirit rather than destroys it. Thank you. Thank you.